Right, good evening everybody. Let me load the chat, make sure everything's working. Just turn that volume down. So I just need to do a few tests before we start. Just to check firstly that I'm live. Check secondly that the you can hear me. Oh, I'm hoping it's going to work. So, we're going to play a new game, guys, tonight. I'm really excited about this, and I have been for this past week. So I'll just wait for a few more people to join, and then... Really excited to show you this game. Really excited. So, hello, Anne. Anne, we've got a new game. And I should say, welcome, replay viewers, because I'm going to post this on a replay as well. So, yeah, it's a new game, brand new game. So... I'm just going to give it another minute just for a few more people to join, otherwise I have to repeat myself. So, first of all, can you all hear me loud and clear? That's the first test. There's no music, there's no sound, because I've turned that off. I'm not sure if the sound was going to play anyway, but I don't want there to be any sound tonight, as long as you can all hear me. So, we, you can hear me, you can see the screen... That's fantastic. I'm just hoping the app's going to work because I tried it. I did try it a couple of a couple of hours ago and I had to restart the app and then it worked again. So so welcome in everyone and welcome replay viewers. Oh, thank you for the likes. So do share this, share the broadcast if you can. Share, share, share. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, this game, right, is called Anagram Quest. Now I've changed the background. You can change the background on, on this game so you don't have to have this same background. So it's a new game. It's it meet, it's basically Wordscapes meets Trivia. So before we used to do Wordscapes and then we used to do Trivia separately. Well, this merges the two together and uh, it's actually a, it's a game that's been created by uh, someone who got in touch called William. And he kindly sent me a coffee <laughs> and um, I sent him a message. Oh, he sent me a message actually and then I, I replied back to him and I said, I'd love to play this game on the on our tiktok channel so here it is here it is and he's kindly uh, got rid of our, the adverts for us so we're going to be playing this if you want to download the game you can find it on your on the in the place where you normally get your apps so go and check it out if you enjoy the game so yes so let's make a start then because it's just gone seven o'clock. We might get a few more people in. So they do a da there's a daily puzzle, which we're going to come to shortly, but I want you to get a feel of this game first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on new puzzle uh, or play a puzzle, sorry, at the bottom. It's So this is called Anagram Quest. So we're going to press play a puzzle and we've got all these different subjects. So we've got all about animals and then within these topics is the games okay and there's 10 games in each set and now he can actually create a topic for us so if you've got any suggestions of any particular subjects you want he will put that together for us for the next game and we might be doing we'll probably do these every saturday so for next week so so we've got all about animals we've got food and drinks history and politics malicious science sports and re recreation the arts and news so if you could all put a topic guys in the comments which topic we should do which subject we should do and then we'll go into that subject and break it down even further well we'll probably go through them anyway so Anne's wanting food and drink i think we should do food and drink i think we should do food and drink but there's just the topic so we're going to tap food and drink and here we go we've got all these topics here so we've got Barbecue sauces, candy, carnival food, cheesy choices, coffee, drinks, fast food. There's loads of topics. Pasta. So I think we should go for... We'll start from the top. Should we start from the top? Oh, in fact, let's start with candy, I reckon. Candy. Here we go then. So here's your first game. And I have, I have changed the settings so that it's on the hardest level. So the hardest level will remove the letters. There might be one or two letters in the word to make it easy. OK, so here's your first anagram quest. Sometimes you feel like a blank. Sometimes you don't. The letters are in the circle. So we're looking for a word, a three letter word. 
SM's going for nut and Anne's going for nut. Is it nut? It is nut. Well done. Right then, here's your next one. Oh, it actually moved then, right. The blank company is the largest chocolate producer in the United States. The blank company is the largest chocolate producer in the United States. Good evening, Melanie. Good evening. So it's like wordscapes and trivia at the same time. It's brilliant, isn't it? So we're playing this every week, every Saturday. So Anne's going for Hershey's. SM says Hershey's. Is it Hershey's or Hershey? It is Hershey. Well done, guys. Right, question number three. Jelly Bean Candy Company makes blank bots every flavour beans. Jelly Baby Candy Company makes blank bots every every flavour beans. Weren't they from Harry Potter? Any guesses? There's your letters in the circle. So Jelly Belly, Jelly Belly, Jelly Belly Candy Company makes blank bots every flavour beans. Your letters are E I E, R B T. Any guesses? So if you just joined, welcome in, guys. Welcome to. A new game called Anagram Quest, in which it's very similar to Wordscapes and Trivia. Can anyone guess what it is? Now, we do have clues at the bottom. I think it's the uh, the, the arrows at the bottom on the left are the new cl- uh, is when you, it will give you a letter. Good evening, Bill. Good to see you. So, we're looking for this... This is your question, Bill. Jelly Belly Candy Company makes blank bots every flavour beans. Should we have a... Shall we press the little arrow? Let's see what happens. Oh, no, that's to shuffle, I think. Yeah, so that's to shuffle. And then I think the speech at the bottom, it gives you one of the letters. Should we, should we try it? There we go. So we've got I as the fifth letter. So Kelly says Bertie. Is it Bertie? Let's find out. It is Bertie. Well done, Kelly. Give yourself 10 points if you get them right. Right then, here's your next one. Candy Blank is a sweet three-colour Halloween confection. Candy Blank is a sweet three-colour Halloween confection. So Anne's going for corn, Melanie says corn, Kelly says corn, is it corn? Let's find out. It is corn, well done guys. Well done Jenny as well. So if you said corn, give yourself 10 points. Right then, number five. Compressed sugar tablet in a dispenser with a character on the flip top. Compressed Sugar tablet in a dispenser with a character on the flip top. Three letters. Is it please? Oh, there's no L. Is it Pez? I think it could be Pez. I think I know which ones now. Which ones? They used to come with all these different funny characters on, didn't they? Is it Pez? It is Pez. Well done, guys. Right then, next one, number six. Neko. Neko stands for New Blank Confectionery Company. Neko stands for New Blank Confectionery Company. And this is seven letters. Anne says England. Kelly says England. Let's find out. Is it England? I think it could be England. Yes, well done, guys. Okay, number seven then, the last one of this set. Okay, initially, a roll of lifesavers cost a blank. Initially, a roll of lifesavers cost a blank. So Anne says nickel. Kelly 
Kelly says lichen or licken. Kelly says nickel. Is it which one should we go with? Let's go. Let's go for nickel. N i c k l e. Is it nickel? It's not nickel. Unless I spelt that wrong. N i c k e l maybe. Yeah, it was nickel, but spelled e l. And your last one there, number eight. I think there might be ten questions actually. I'm not sure. Let's check. Oh, yeah, there is more. Okay, Mars left and right chocolate caramel cookie bar. Mars left and right chocolate caramel cookie bar. Kelly saying Twix. Anne says Twix. Is it Twix? Yes, well done. Right, number nine. Okay, the Skittles slogan is "Taste the blank." The Skittles slogan is "Taste the blank." Kelly saying rainbow. Melanie says rainbow. Anne says rainbow. Yeah, Abby says rainbow. Is it rainbow? Let's find out. I think it could be rainbow. Yes. And number 10. White chocolate contains no chocolate blank. White chocolate contains no chocolate blank. Kelly's saying solids. Abby says solids. Is it solids? Yes, well done, guys. Fantastic. So, um, there we go. So, we used one hint to complete candy number one in Anagram Quest. Now, it says in this app, this is the first time you play in this game, um, you can paste it into social media, share with your friends if you wish, but we're not going to do that right now. So, I'm going to close that off and then we're going to go back into Player Puzzle. And we're going to go back into food and drink. So we just did candy. So I think next one, what should we do drinks? Let's do some drinks, shall we? Let's try drinks. So all you do is just tap on the, the level you want. And here we go. Here's your next set of 10. This is Anagram Quest. Here we go. Half lemonade, half iced tea is a, a drink named for Arnold Blank. Half lemonade, half iced tea, drink named for Arnold Blank. Melanie's straight in there with Palmer. I don't think I've ever heard of this before. This one, Palmer. Is it Palmer? Well done, Melanie. Very good. Hello, Mike. Good to see you. Well done, Kelly. Right then, here's number two. Gatorade, Gatorade was developed at the University of Blank. Is that how you pronounce it? Gatorade or Gatorade? Gatorade was developed at the University of Blank. And saying Florida, Kelly says Florida. Yep. Yeah. Is it Florida? It is Florida. Well done, guys. Right then, number three. Blank wine is produced on the island of Sicily. Blank wine is produced on the island of Sicily. And saying Marsala. Is it Marsala? It is. Well done, Anne. Well done, Mike. Well done if you said that. Well done, Mason. Right, number four. A mocktail is a cocktail without blank. A mocktail is a cocktail without blank. Is it liquor? Is it liquor? I can't spell that. L-I-Q-U-O-R. Well done, everyone. Yep, it was liquor. Right, number five. Another name for a Taiwanese bubble tea. Another name for Taiwanese bubble tea, four letters. Is it Boba? It is Boba. Well done, guys. Well done. Right, blank is an Indian drink made with mangoes and yogurt. Five letters. Blank is an Indian drink made with mangoes and yogurt. 
five letters. Okay, Tina's first in there with lasso. Maybe not lasso, but maybe lassie. Yep, lassie. It is lassie. Well done. Right, and number seven. Tequila is distilled from the blue blank plant. Tequila is distilled from the blue blank plant. Five letters. So what do we think to this game so far? It's pretty good, isn't it? Okay, it might be a word that is banned if because it's coming up on my screen. So put a full stop in between the letters, guys. I don't actually know what this is. The blue... The blue blank plant. Yeah, it's probably because it's bad. <laughs> Did it come through, Anne? No, I can't see it, I'm afraid. Right, okay. Mike's saying it. Is it a gave? It is a gave. Well done, Mike. Ten points. Okay, number number eight. The world's top tea producing country. The world's top tea producing comp country. Did I say company? Not Yorkshire tea. <laughs> is it China? Well done, it is China, yeah. Right, number nine. Okay, for centuries, people have searched for the fountain of blank. For centuries, people have searched for the fountain of blank. Mason says youth. Is it youth? Oh, I spelt that wrong. Youth. It is youth. Right, and number ten. Orange drink mix that went into space orange drink mix that went into space four letters sm's going for tang roxy's saying nat okay we're getting more for tang i don't think i've ever had that before tang unless it's a different brand with the o at the end is it tang yes well done guys Right then, what do we think to this game so far? If you're enjoying it and you want to play it, you can get it from your app store and it's called Anagram Quest, so make a note of it, okay? So now what we're going to do is we're going to do another level. So 10 more questions. Which topic should we go for, guys? I'll jump. So we've got animals, food and drink, history and politics, miscellaneous, science, sports and recreation, the arts... And news, and also let me know any topics you would like. Uh, the owner of the app, because he's he said to us that he will create quizzes specifically for you guys, the owner of the app. So we have a direct connection to him. So if you've got a topic, anything at all, then let me know. I'll take your suggestions at the end of the broadcast. Okay, so just remind me. So what topic should we go for then? Should we do a bit of ooh, science? Do we like science? Don't just drop off because we are going to do another one, another topic as well. So we try a bit of science. Oh, Mike's going for mis mis miscellaneous. Let's go with that one then. Yeah, we got, Melanie doesn't like science. Right then, so you've got bad jokes, vocabulary questions, actors, body parts, Currency, game shows, hats, jingles, Mardi Gras, dad jokes, Roman mythology, myth Roman mytho mythology, I can't even say that, mythology, mythology, slogans, Kelly want game shows, or oh, what's the word? Right, let's do, there's so much to choose from. What does Mike want? Right, let's do game shows first, and then what we'll do is any games you want, I will make a note. Right, game shows, as you were the first one in the chat. Here we go. Alex Blank was the beloved host of Jeopardy for 37 seasons. Alex Blank was the beloved host of Jeopardy for 37 seasons. Six letters. So 
So Mike's going for it with Trebek. Is it Trebek? Well done, Mike. Yeah, well done, Kelly. Right, next one. Information Blank debuted in 1938 as the first radio game show. Information Blank debuted in 1938 as the first radio game show. Six letters. I think I know this. Okay, first in there is Charles. Charles Clement. Is it please? It is please. Well done. Oh, I know this one. The Blank is Right is the longest running game show on TV. The Blank is Right is the longest running game show on TV. Who's first? Uh, looks to be Mason. Mason saying Price. It is Price. Well done. Right, number four. Well done, Bill. Okay, Betty White met husband Alan Blank on Password when he was the host. Betty White met husband Alan Blank on Password when he was the host. Six letters. Right then, first in there, we've got Kelly with Dundle. Is it Dundle? It's not Dundle. Maybe it was, is it an EL? Not Dundle. Hmm. Betty White met husband Alan Blank on Password when he was the host. Let's have a clue. So it ends in an N. Mike's going for London. London. It can't be London because of the N. So it's got to end in an N. Ludden. Is it Ludden? Maybe I've got a... Yeah, well done. Ludden is correct. Right, I know the answer to this one. The Blank Link originated in the UK in 2000. The Blank Link originated in the UK in 2000. Is it Weakest? Kelly says Weakest. Yes, very good. Right, number six. Well done, Melanie. Okay, former NBA star Blank Wade is the host of The Cube on TBS. Former NBA star Blank Wade is the host of The Cube on TBS. Mason saying Dwayne. Is it Dwayne? Not Dwayne. Did I spell that wrong? D-W-A-Y-N-E. Not Dwayne. Dorney. Is it Dorney? It's not Dorney. Let's have a clue. Ends in an E. Dwayne. Not Dwayne. How weird. Do another clue. Yeah, it could it could be D W A Y N E. Not Dwayne. <laughs> Unless it's spelt wrong, I'm not sure. Let's do another letter. Hmm. D W A Y N E. That's strange. 
it is Dwayne, isn't it? But for some reason, it's not allowing me to 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 put it in. D D W A. Ah, that's why. D W Y A N E. That was the reason why. Yeah, we. It was a different spelling. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Right, next one, number seven. Bill Blank and Mark Goodson created and produced a lot of game shows, including Password. Bill Blank and Mark Goodson created and produced a lot of game shows, including Password. Six letters. So welcome in, guys, if you're new to the channel. Welcome in. We're playing Anagram Quest this evening, so welcome in. Do hit the follow button if you're new, so you don't miss future games, because we're going to be playing this again next week. And if you've got any suggestions, I'll take them at the end. Okay, for quizzes. I know what Melanie likes. <laughs> I know what Bill likes. So Bill Blank and Mark Goodson created and produced a lot of game shows, including Password. We've got an answer coming through. So we've got Todman. Is it Todman? Well done. It is Todman. Well done. I can't read your name. Paul. It is Paul. I thought it was Paul. Well done, Paul. Right, number eight. Wheel of Fortune's Vanna White played the goodess, goddess... Blank in a 1988 movie, so it made for TV movie. Oh, you're all in there. Tessie, good to see you as well. Tessie's going for Venus. Yeah, I think that's obvious from the, the letters. Venus is correct. Right, number nine. Okay, Nickelodeon's game show, Double Dare, was known for using green what? Nickelodeon's game show Double Dare was known for using green what? Yeah, so the owner of this app is actually Canadian, I believe. But I will definitely feed that back to try and get more UK questions. Okay, Tessie says slime. Rachel says slime. Yeah, you're all saying slime. Is it slime? It is slime, well done. Right, number 10. The Obstacle Course Show Wipeout is hosted by Nicole Bayer and John Who. The Obstacle Course Show Wipeout is hosted by Nicole Bayer and John Who. So Charles is going for Senna. Is it Senna? Yes, well done, guys. Well done. We completed the game shows number one. Fantastic. Right, we'll do another 10 set of questions, another topic. So we'll go back into miscellaneous. So should we go in? Should we try fun holiday facts? Let's try fun holiday facts. And then we'll do the puzzle of the day. Because they do have puzzles each day. It's called Anagram Quest. Anagram Quest, which you can find and do the puzzle of the day. So here we go then. Fun holiday facts. Best of luck. Here we go. A blank is four-sided spinning top with a Hebrew letter on each side. A blank is a four-sided spinning top with a Hebrew letter on each side. Tess is going straight in there with Dreedal. Is it Dreedal? I think I'm going to spell that wrong. Or, no, it can't be Dreedal without spelling. D R. Oh, sorry, D R E. I D, E L. Well done, Tessie. So what section are we on now? We've moved on to fun holiday facts in miscellaneous. Miscellaneous. Okay, number two. Blank 
it a candle holder with nine branches used during Hanukkah. I'm, I've got a feeling, Tessie, this is, this is one of your favourite topics. Is it a menorah? This is trickier for me. I wouldn't have a clue. Menorah? It is menorah. Menorah, well done. Right. Fried potato cakes. So fried potato pancakes traditionally served at Hanukkah. I think Tessie... Tessie, this is definitely your subject. Is it Latkes? Latkes? It is well done. Right, next one. Panettone is a rich, sweet bread filled with blank fruit enjoyed during the Christmas season. Panettone is a rich, sweet bread filled with blank fruit enjoyed during the christmas season and it's seven letters so tessie says candid and sean i think that is it's sean yet yeah, sean says candid let's find out is it candid it is well done right next one number five either one of santa's reindeer or a blank Named for Halley. Either one of Santa's reindeer or a blank named for Halley. Is it Comet? It is Comet. Well done. Number six. Okay, one of the seven principles of Kwanzaa is Kumba, which means creativity in what? Tess is going for Swahili. Is it Swahili? I think it could be. Well done, Tessie. Well done. Okay, number seven. In the Northern Hemisphere, the blank solstice is the shortest day of the year. In the Northern Hemisphere, the blank solstice is the shortest day of the year. You're all shouting winter. Is it winter? It is winter. Number eight. The first official tree light, light, the first official tree lighting ceremony at Rockefeller, blank, was held in nineteen thirty three. I like to say, to say, yeah, if it's sent, I love that you've, you sent me two of the same, the same word, but the American spelling as well. Is it centre? Let's try the American way. It is centre, well done. Okay, number nine. Blank have a single space for four fingers plus a separate space for the thumb. Blank have... A single space four fin for four fingers, plus a separate space for the thumb. You, you're all, you guys, you're so quick at this. It's crazy. Is it mittens? It is mittens. Right, number 10. Okay, geologically, the North Pole is located in the middle of the ice-covered blank ocean. You're all showing Arctic. Is it Arctic? It is. Well done, guys. Right, let's do the daily puzzle. And then what we'll do... Is, I think we'll do two... Or th yeah, we'll do a couple more. A couple more uh, rounds. They are updating this app full of different quizzes and all sorts of trivia. So do check it out. Anagram Quest... It was a good round, that. A very good round. Although I, feel, I think that after doing this a few times, I'm going to lose my voice with the amount of questions there are. But maybe. Maybe I don't have to read them all out. Right then, let's do the puzzle of the day. So here we go. And we've also got on this day as well. We'll do on this day after this. So puzzle of the day. This is your puzzle of the day, guys. Here we go. To bring to an end... To bring to an end. And this is 
nine letters to bring to an end. If you get this, you get 50 points. I should have a timer, shouldn't I? 30 seconds. <laughs> oh, we've got an answer already. Wow. So Abby thinks it's terminate. Is it terminate? Let me spell it right. T E R M I N A T E. Well done, Abby. Oh, there's a few. We've got a few like nine letter words. So this these are the trickiest ones then I'm guessing. So number two, a feeling of intense dislike or hatred. A feeling of intense dislike or hatred. Nine letters. Yeah, they're all nine letters. Did I click the wrong one by mistake? A feeling of intense dislike or hatred. Mike's there. Mike's Mike's got an answer. Is it antipathy? Antith antipathy. I think you're right, Mike. Yes, well done, Mike. Fantastic. Here we go then. Number three. To make something more visible or apparent. That was a tricky one. Yeah, I would never have got that. Number three. To make something more visible. Or apparent. Tess is first in there with highlight. Is it highlight? I think I spelt that wrong. So let me try again. H I G H L I. I think you're right. Highlight. Well done, Tessie. Number four. To make something less intense or severe. To make something less intense or severe. Tessie again, straight in there. Is it elevi elevate? Alleviate? No. Or ale oh, see, Abby's going for ale alleviate. I can't spell it either. <laughs> so I'm going to go with, we'll go with um, Abby's first. A double L E V I. A T E. Well done, Abby. Right there, number five. A feeling of deep respect and awe. A feeling of deep respect and awe. Tessie again. <laughs> You're so quick, guys. Like I, I don't know how your minds work. Just brilliant. Is it? Reference or reverence? Never heard of that word before. Reverence. What do we think to this game then? Are you all going to go download this after this stream? Reverence is there. Well done. Okay, number six. To make someone feel uncomfortable or awkward. To make someone feel uncomfortable or awkward. Nine letters. Like when we did Wordscapes, well, we're still going to play Wordscapes, but the most words you could ever get was, what was it, seven letters? Seven or eight. It was eight, wasn't it? Was it eight or seven? I think it was eight. Mike says discomfort. Is it discomfort? Or discomfit? Yeah, discomfit. Well done, Mike. It's like crossword as well, this. It's like crossword wordscapes and trivia all together. Right, a temporary state of disorientation or confusion. Tessie says dizziness. Yeah, I think big clue there with the two, two Zs, two Zs. Is it dizziness? Very good. 
Number eight, to remove the water from something. To remove the water from something. Tessie says dehydrate. Is it dehydrate? Or oh, it can't be dehydrate. So I'm going to go for the next one. Who's going to get it? I can't accept dehydrate. I don't think it's dehydrate. Did I spell it right? D E. No, because there's an A in there. Oh, wait, there is an A, yeah. Dehydrate. Yes, it is dehydrate. I saw the D and I thought it was dehydrated. Well done if you said that. Right, number nine. A feeling of deep regret or remorse. A feeling of deep regret or remorse. Six letters. So Tessie says pen penitence. Penitence. Is it penitence? It's not penitence, unless I spelled that wrong. P E N. If there's two N's, it can't be two N's. Hello, Vina. Did I spell that right? P E N I T E N C E. Yeah, it was penitence. I just spelt it wrong. And last one then of your nine letter words. A feeling of deep hatred or animosity. A feeling of deep hatred or animosity. Have we had this one already? <laughs> Have we just gone back to the beginning? I don't know. Maybe they repeated it. Yeah, we've done that one, haven't we? He's repeated it, so... Maybe it's to test us again. Yeah, we've had that one. Because Mike got that one. And I spelled that wrong. A-I-T. I should know how to spell it. I've done it already. Anti-what? <laughs> Pathy. Antipathy. Yeah. It was a test, I reckon, to, to make sure that you remembered it. Right then. I don't, know, I don't know if that was the puzzle. That's definitely not the puzzle of the day, unless it is puzzle of the day. Ah, this is your puzzle. No, that's not puzzle of the day. So let's cross this off. And we're going to try now on this day. On this day. So best of luck with this one. <laughs> I think I have to make this. Well, we've got. I don't know what to do, actually. We'll carry on playing as many as we can. OK, up to eight o'clock. So we've got another 15 minutes. Here we go then. On this day, August the 19th, 1646, was the birth of astronomer John Glamsteed, who established the Royal Blank Observatory. Abby straight in there with Greenwich. Is it Greenwich? Well done, it was Greenwich. So this will we'll definitely do this every week. On this day, August the 19th, 1871, was the birth of Wilbur's younger brother, Blank Wright, in Dayton, Ohio. Is it Orville? Well done, it was uh, Orville. Okay, number three. 1883 was the birth of iconic French fashion designer, Coco Blank. Is it Chanel? Happy birthday to Coco Chanel. Is correct. And number four. On this day in 1921 was the birth of pilot former Lapped Blank and creator of Star Trek, Gene Roddenberry. So 1921, the birth of pilot former LAPD blank. Is it writer? I don't understand that question. But it's correct. 
<laughs> right, number five. On this day, 1935, happy birthday to retired NASA astronaut, Dr. Story Blank. Tess is going for Musgrave. Is it Musgrave? Well done. It was Musgrave. Okay, number six. On this day, 1952, happy birthday to actor and director Jonathan Blank, also known as Will Riker. Is it Farkis? Is that how you pronounce it? Farkis? Or ES or Fox, not Fox. Hmm. Quick drink, guys, drink water. So on this day, 1952, happy birthday to actor and director Jonathan Blank. If you get stuck, I will allow you to ask your smart devices. Mike's going for Frakes. Is it Frakes? Well done, Mike. Okay, number seven, 1964 on this day was the launch of blank three the first geostationary communication satellite and it is six letters on this day 1964 was the launch of blank three the first geostationary communication satellite This is a tricky one. Tess is not sure. I'll give you a letter. So it's blank, blank, N, blank, blank, blank. Kelly says, Syncom. Is it Syncom? Well done, Kelly. Right, 1969. We're wishing a happy birthday to actor and producer Matthew Perry, also known as Blank Bing. Is it Chandler? Chandler? Not Chandler. <laughs> Chandler from a famous Friends. Yeah, well done. Happy birthday to him. Okay, on this day, 1973, I like how it goes up to modern times, is the release of martial arts film Enter the Blank, starring Bruce Lee. Kelly's going in there with Dragon. Is it Dragon? Well done. On this day in 2004, Google Inc., has its initial public offering on blank. That means it's 20 years old next year. So remember this day next year, Google will be 20 years old. I think I know this one. If you follow stocks and shares, you'll get this one. Google Inc. in 2004 has its initial public offering on blank. I'll give you this one. NASDAQ. It's the NASDAQ. So well done, guys. We used eight hints on there. I like that one. That's a really good one, that is. I like that. So if you're watching William, the owner of this app, I will feed that back to do more of On This Day because I suppose you can only do so many, but that's a really good... That's different. I like that. 
Right then, let's go. Would you like another 10 set of questions? Make sure to download this app, guys, called Anagram Quest. And I will see what I can do as well. Um, when you download the app, you might, you, you'll be able to get the daily puzzles. But I will see what I can do, if you're watching, to try and get you some further discount. Maybe to, uh, say, quote in my name or something. So if you download it. Right, here we go then. We'll do another miscellaneous. Okay, and let's go a bit further down. So if I'm making you dizzy, guys, we'll go right down to the bottom. Should we do what's the word? Should we try what's the word? And we'll do ten questions of this, and then I will let you head off. Because, um, yeah, here we go then. What's the word? Okay, a feeling of deep regret or guilt... For a wrong committed. No worries, Mike. Thanks for joining. See you shortly. I'm going to win. <laughs> we'll try. So Kelly says remorse. Is it remorse? Have we done this one already? It's very similar, isn't it? Remorse. Yeah, remorse is there. Right. A device used to control the flow of water or gas. A device used to control the flow of water or gas. Is it valve? V-A-L-V-E. It is valve. Okay, number three. To speak in a low voice or mumble. Six letters. Is it mutter? It is mutter. Well done, Tessie. Right, number four. An act of kindness or a favour. An act of kindness or of or a favour. I think what we'll do next Saturday is we'll definitely do more of this. I think I can't do a whole hour of just this. Maybe, maybe on a special occasion as it's the first one, but... We'll definitely have to do something else. I could do words. We could do wordscapes as well. Wordscapes and this. But I think it's a little bit... To do an hour of this, it can be a bit a bit of an overload for me. Because <laughs> we don't normally do this many questions, do we? Let me know what you think. But yeah, any feedback? Well, I'll take your suggestions shortly after this for going forward. So uh, Tessie says benefit. Is it benefit? Yes, well done. Okay, number five. A brief witty saying or remark. A brief witty saying or remark. Seven letters. It's a very good game, though, isn't it? It's a really good game. But I'll take your suggestions in a minute. Hmm, I'll give you a clue. So it ends in an M. A brief, witty saying or remark. Oh, I think I know it. I think I've got it. Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> Ends in an M. I'll give you another letter. Four, fifth letter is an R. Let's give you another letter. Blank P. Another letter. Ram. 
Is it epigram? Epigram? Yeah, well done, Abby. Well done. Right, number six then. A large, deep hole in the ground. A large, deep hole in the ground. Five letters. Abby's going for abyss. You had to get that one with your name. Is it abyss? Well done. Okay, number seven. To make someone extremely happy. To Well done, Ryan. To make someone extremely happy. Six letters. Is it thrill? I think it could be thrill. Yeah, well done, Ryan. Okay, number eight. Sudden and violent shaking of the ground. Sudden and violent. I know this one. Shaking of the ground. Kelly's straight in there. Is it quake? It is quake. Last two then. Number nine. To remove impurities from a liquid. Six letters. To remove impurities from a liquid. Is it filter? I think it could be. It is. Well done. And your last one then, guys. Sudden strong feeling or fear or shock. Ryan says fright. Is it fright? Oh, we've got one more. Well done. Keep keep going, guys. Number 11. To behave in a cowardly way. To behave in a cowardly way. And this is six letters. Oh, is it cringe? It is cringe. How many more's left? Oh, we've got a few here. We've got 20. So we'll carry on. We've got 20. So number, yeah, number 12. To make someone feel ashamed or embarrassed. To make someone feel ashamed or embarrassed. What's your thinking then? Oh, is it a bash? It is well done, number 13. Okay, a small, brightly coloured bird. Small, brightly coloured bird. Five letters. Kelly says finch. It is finch, number 14. To make something less severe or intense. To make something less severe or intense. Seven letters. And whilst I don't forget, good luck Lionesses tomorrow morning for the Women's World Cup. Okay, is it mollify? Mollify. It is mollify. I'm also going to be on at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning, by the way, guys, uh, with some travel TikTok shop items. They've got a huge sale on. So if you would like to join me tomorrow at 10 o'clock, I will be live which is in the middle of the game, I think. might be during half-time. I hope it's during half-time. Um, right, number 15. Right, to make someone or something dirty. Is it soil? Soil is correct. Number 16. To move in a quick and lively way. To move in a quick and lively way. Four letters. Is it skip? Skip is correct. Well done, Kelly. Number 17. To speak or write about someone in a disparaging way. To speak or write about someone in a disparaging, disparaging way. Five letters. Is it decry? Decry is correct. Okay, number 18. To make someone feel less angry or upset. To make someone feel less angry or upset. Seven letters. OK, 
Can I just do a really quick test, guys? Um, if I just tap this volume key, uh, one of them's for the game sound, I think, and one of them's for the background, like background music. I don't know. We should be all right to play it. But can you just can you let me know if you can hear anything? It's just a test because it's the first time. So I'll go with the music first. I should be able to hear it myself actually on my screen. No, I can't hear anything. There's no sound coming out, is there? I don't think there's no sound coming out. Right, I'm just going to turn that off. So it's now turned off. And I'm just going to try the other one. So I'm just going to move the letters around. Don't know if you can hear anything there. And then I'm going to turn that back off. Right, I'm going to give you some letters. So I'll give you one, two, three. I don't think any sound came through for either of them, did they? So it starts with a P to make someone feel less angry or upset. I'll give you another letter. A. P blank A C blank T blank. Whilst you're thinking of that, guys, I'm just going to go get my notepad. Oh, I've got a notepad, actually. Just need a pen. And then we'll take your suggestions of what you would like next week. Let me just go grab a pen. Oh, I've got a pen, actually. <laughs> I'll say and then I can never find it. Any guesses? I'll give you another letter. P-L-A-C blank T blank. P L A C blank is it A T E plactate? I've never heard that before. It was plactate. Right, last two to move in a slow gradual way. To move in a slow gradual way. My brain's completely fried now. <laughs> We've done a whole hour of these. To move in a slow and gradual way. So well done everyone for taking part tonight. If you want to download this game, it's called Anagram Quest. Absolutely brilliant. Lots of puzzles and more puzzles being added every day. So as I say, the puzzle of the days will be updated every day and also the on the day one will be updated every day. But we'll only do them when we're on the live stream. Okay. CRP. Yeah, make sure to follow, guys. CRP. Not CRP. It's got to be five letters. Is it Repcre? Oh, no. Is it creep? <laughs> it is creep. And your last one, to, dece to deceive or trick someone. Four letters. To deceive or trick someone. Four letters. Is it dupe? Dupe? It is dupe. Well done, guys. Well done and thank you for all joining me this today on this live stream. So a new game. I really enjoyed that. I don't think I could do a whole hour of it just so I'll end up losing my voice. But it is a really good game. We'll definitely be playing it again. Let me know now in the comments what quizzes you would like for next week. And I will, I will get the man who has made this app. So any suggestions of quizzes? What would you like to be quizzed on next week? For me, I like 80s music. Or films. I wonder if there's a topic. Let me know now in the guys in the let me know now in the guys. Let me know in the comments, guys, what topics you would like. Have a think. Anything at all. I'm just gonna and as I say, download this app guys, Anag Anagram Quest. If you've not got any suggestions now, then you can always just comment in my videos. Go on to my videos and you can find it. 
So I will see you all next week, Saturday at 7 p.m. And thank you so much for joining. Thank you for follows. Thank you for the gifts. And my next live stream at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. So hopefully you can join me then for some travel TikTok shop. And uh, I'll be back with this next week. I oh, don't forget, I'll be back on Tuesday for crossword and trivia. So I shall see you then at 10 o'clock. So take care, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.